Hey everybody, this is Dan over at CineSamples. I'm here today to talk about the different versions of Contact and which one you'll need to run whichever CineSamples library you bought or are planning on buying. So you'll see here that I have the free version of Contact open, the Contact Player, and this is Contact 4. So you can get this from the Native Instruments website for free. Just download it. And you'll see I have Voxos and Hollywood Winds here, a patch from each loaded. Um, and they're running fine because I've authorized them in Service Center. So the way you do that is you click on Add Library up here in the Libraries tab and navigate to the folder that contains the libraries. And then you can enter your serial number in Service Center and you're good to go as soon as you restart contact. So now these are actually the only two of our libraries that will run in the free version of contact. They're also the only two libraries of ours that will be able to be added to the libraries tab. Any other library you need the full version of contact and you need to navigate to the instrument files using the files tab. So if I try and do that with Drums of War 1 in the free version here, I get a little demo indicator. And the only way to get rid of that is to open up Drums of War in the full version of Contact, which I have here. The full version of Contact you have to purchase from Native Instruments, and it comes with its own library of sounds that are extensive. It's like 40 gigabytes. So here I loaded that and it worked fine with no demo indicator. Since this is Contact 3, a lot of people are running Contact 3. If you're trying to buy one of our newer libraries, for example CineOrc, and I try and load that in Contact 3, it says it's corrupt. But really what that means is that I'm trying to load it in an older version than it was made in, which is Contact 4. So in order to run CineOrc, you need the full version of Contact 4. If you try and load Voxos in Contact 3, you won't be able to, but that's fine because Voxos works in the free version of Contact 4. So I know it's a little confusing, but I hope that clears things up. If you guys have any other questions, you can email me at dan at cinesamples.com, and thanks a lot.